Okay, guys, I've got another Pixelmatch tutorial for you. Um, it is like the Brawlises, the or Brawlises I used to make, like um, in the sky, you know, them colors in the sky, I guess. But it's not really that. It looks like it, but you know, it's just a tutorial, you know. Um, if someone ain't seen my other Pixelmatch tutorials, they can uh, look off this one. So this is what we're gonna make. It is a wallpaper. So, um, you can put it as a wallpaper or whatever you want. And you can change the color up. You can change the background color up. You can change the text color. You can really do anything you want to modify your own, you know, background. I just made it like this. I wrote my name and everything like that. So, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do that today. So, I'm going to save this one. Um, just save it. Just drag it to my desktop. And, um, just close it out now. And what you want to do is go to File, New Image. You want your width 180, I mean 1280, and your height 800, and your resolution about 500 or 400 because you're going to use this as a uh, wallpaper. So push OK. First thing you do is mostly what you do in the browsers I used to make used to I still make them but you know I just don't put them on YouTube mostly now the background you can make mostly any color but you know not no uh, matters what you're gonna do your browse with um, I'm gonna just do mine black because it shows up a little better so we'll do that and the next step you want to do is get your grid I mean you need to add a new layer not your grid you need to uh, put a little stars in there. Now it's optional. You can leave stars out if you want to, but you know you can just add a little bit of stars if you want to. So you know just uh, go around clicking. Really, all you have to do, and you can put big ones, little ones. Really doesn't matter what you put in it. Don't put much because my other tutorials put. I put like about freaking 100 under. You don't need that much. About like that. And you can make it put bigger ones, but be all right for now. All right, what you want to do now is go to filter tile and always the second one when you hit tile. And you can play around with the settings in here. I just like it for when it's tile. You can move it around. Um, really, I just like mine tile. So the next step is to add a new layer. You probably can't see it on my other monitor over here. Add another layer right here. And after you add another layer, you want to go down here and get your grid right here. And make it uh, any color you want, guys. It really doesn't matter. And just drag it across your, uh, you know, your canvas or whatever you want to call it. Um, next step is, now, this is, um, this is where it gets a little tricky at. You don't want it up here to talk like, you know, regular. You don't want it right here. You want it like about middle range, but down some from there, like about right there. Because your text is going to be right in the middle of it. Um, but you can put your side. I'm just really showing you the general knowledge how to do this. Um, you know, put it like about right here. It might be right, right there. And just drag it across like that. It really doesn't matter how you drag it. So just drag it like that. Now after you've done that, you're going to go to uh, Edit, Inverse, and push the Delete key on your uh, keyboard. And de deselect. Now after you've done that, you want to... Uh, you know, just add some stuff to even it out in. So get your paintbrush and put, you know, yellow. You can put yellow on this side. God, you don't want that big. You want about 11 or 12 or even a 10. Um, but, you know, put really, I think about, a, about an 8 or something like that. Yeah. You can use bigger ones if you want to. And you can put, you know, a little dab of blue in it 
to just even the color out on both sides, you know, and add some orange, a darker orange, something like that, on this side, even darker, something like that, I mean, it really doesn't matter, it does matter, but not as much as some stuff, so after doing that, you want to go to, uh, let's see, where do you go? Filter, stylize, pixelize. I almost forgot that, guys. I ain't done this in a while. And you want to add it until you see like little white spots through your image right there. Something like a four or a five. Something like that. My four. And after you've done that, you want to go filter, blur, zoom, and. Um, you can play around this for freaking uh, 20 minutes. This takes a little uh, time right here to get it like right where you want and stuff like that. Um, for sake of this video, I'll just keep it like right there. It looks like right, right there. And again, guys, you can use any color in this area right here. Like my grid right here. You can go down here and make a new grid. Uh, just click that right there and make another one like blue click it you can put a red one and you, you can go you can put anything put another blue and you can use that one push ok and it will add that grid to your grid list so you can make it that color if you want to it's really anything you want to make it so the next one the next step uh, that you can do is get your text tool and it looks a little better when you put a capital letter so I'll just write my name again Tyler and um, I don't know make it like a the last one I had was a 36 make it like a something like that like a 36 and you can change any style of type of something you want in here um, can't really find the other one I had on here it was on up here right there it is and it's a little big, so you can size that down to like a 30, maybe, like a 30. Or you can change it to like a 25, maybe. Uh, that like that. You make it bigger, smaller, whatever you really want. After you've done that, you want to move it right here in the middle. Or anywhere you want, again. Uh, about right there, if I'm going to put it right in that area. So after done that, guys, I'm going to get my layers tablet over here so I can show you. I got my text tool, got my abralis color right here, and I got my stars right here, and I got my background as black. So what you want to do is go to your text, um, you know, duplicate layer, raspberry and type layer, and add layer mask. That's going to give you another, um, you know, text um, image right here. I mean, you know, text it. And so just get your move tool, click, hold shift, and drag it down. And as soon as you drag it down, you want to let go of shift. And make it about like that right there. Something that easy right there. And then after you do that, you want to go to, uh, let's say, um, you can add mostly anything to your text. So, I mean, um, just get like a white layer or something like that and just start right in the middle and click and then hold shift and then it should just turn to like a ghost looking thing you can see through it and there is the image I've just now made it is the same image almost to this one as you see guys um, right there's the one I made before I made this video and here's the one I made just now in Pixmayer. The uh, Browless looks a little different. But, you know, it really doesn't matter. But you can make anything you want. You can change the text color. A, ch a text font. You can change the background. You can change mostly anything in this image that you want. So, guys, I'm going to end into that. And how do you export? You can uh, just 
collab all the image together you can go to file export and you mostly can export anything that you want here all your uh, you know your file names and stuff like that so guys I hope this helped you in your pixelmator learning skills and I will see you guys in my next video comment rest for my videos thank you